Ming Scheid, and this is Jared Riesel from the BBSD EdTech team. Welcome to Tech A Minute, the YouTube show for teachers, where we break down hot ed tech topics into easy to implement steps. This is the first in a five part mini series on digital portfolios. Digital portfolios are a fantastic way for students to organize their work and track their progress over time. Additionally, a wide variety of multimedia artifacts can be kept in digital portfolios so students can creatively communicate their learning. Traditional paper portfolios are not nearly as versatile. The best thing about digital portfolios is that everyone benefits. By creating digital portfolios, students are able to be active participants in their learning by regularly updating their portfolios and revising their work, easily share their work with the world, and authentically apply and perfect their digital skills. Students aren't the only ones who benefit from using digital portfolios. Teachers have been making the shift from paper portfolios in order to assess student proficiency and track growth, give feedback and encourage revisions, easily view student work from anywhere, and encourage student voice and choice. Parents can also benefit from this digital showcase of learning because they are easily able to see what their child has been working on in class and the growth that they're making. This continued communication can support a strong connection between home and school. Are you ready to learn more? Stay tuned for part two of our Digital Portfolios mini-series where we walk you through the planning stages to get started. Are you already using digital portfolios with your students? We'd love to hear from you. Tweet us at BBSD EdTech or leave your comments below. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Thank you.